the United Nations Agenda 2030 is looking hella sketchy right now. In 2015, the United Nations created a list of interlinked sustainable development goals, also known as Agenda 2030, that you can see right here. So the agenda purports to be a global initiative aimed at achieving world peace, prosperity, eradication of poverty, eradication of homelessness, stopping climate change, making the world more friendly, etc. by the year 2030. On the surface, this sounds like a good idea. Like, who doesn't want world peace? Who doesn't want prosperity for all? You know, this little utopia. In reality, this is like a nice, beautiful cake, all dressed up, looks really good. But when you cut into it, it's a bunch of bullshit on the inside. With their advertising to us, all comes at a cost. Everything has a price. And a closer examination of the agenda reveals a far more sinister plot. It is another beautiful day. I am extremely happy to be alive and I hope you all are too. Now, before I get into this, if you are into this type of content, Go ahead and hit the like button and consider subscribing. All right, so at this point, I'm not really even sure what's going on in the world right now. I'm not really certain about anything that's going on anymore. There's been so much information that has been released from the CIA, um, from just like a bunch of uh, government uh, uh, agencies, a lot of uh, 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 this undisclosed information is starting to be released or sealed information that's starting to be released about history, about technology and all this other stuff. Right now, as you guys can see, the world is kind of just like in this real confusing confusing place. Uh, nobody really knows what's really going on except for maybe those who are in control of things, the elite or whatever. Right now, the United Nations is, is, um, is a corporation or a business or some type of uh, agency that um, is pretty much trying to unite the world and, and make it all as one. Now, I'm not all for the whole, you know, one world government type of thing or whatever, which we're pretty much already close to that. Um, but at the same time, like, I don't really know what's going on, man. I don't know what's going on. What is it that, that they know as to what a, I may not know or what the masses may not know and what they're trying to move us into. You feel what I'm saying? So who knows, man? It could be... It could be we could be dealing with extra extraterrestrial, you know, um, agencies and whatnot, and you know we're just here trying to get us to like a, a T1 form, a uh, planet or whatever. I don't know what's really going on. You understand what I'm saying? But right now, from what I can see, the United Nations has set up some things that doesn't really make sense. It looks like they're going they're setting up something that looks promising, but at the end of the day, it's it's kind of like pigeonholing us and. You know, kind of like, um, kind of like enslaving us all over again, just in a new way, in a way that we may not really feel it like, you know, chains and whips. There's a TikToker by the name of Queen, the Queen at the Divine Holy Mecca on TikTok. Go ahead, check her her, uh, her channel out. She has a lot of very informative, clairvoyant, uh, journalistic uh, type of information. Um, and in the video I'm getting ready to show you guys, she breaks down the whole. A scenario with what's actually going on with the United Nations and the agenda 2030 and she gets into very good detail as to why she feels like this may be a issue for, for us sometime in the future as far as like food shortages and what's going on with farming around the world so um let's get into this I'm back as I mentioned in my last video I want to go ahead and lay out what agenda 2030 is get into the receipts and how its policies are backfiring in real time all of this information is readily available at the United Nations website under a page called Transforming Our World, the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development. So in 2015, the United Nations created a list of interlinked sustainable development goals, also known as Agenda 2030, that you can see right here. So the agenda purports to be a global initiative aimed at achieving world peace, prosperity, eradication of poverty, eradication of homelessness, stopping climate change, making the world more friendly, etc. by the year 2030. On the surface, this sounds like a good idea. Like, who doesn't want world peace? Who doesn't want prosperity for all? You know, this little utopia. In reality, this is like a nice, beautiful cake, all dressed up, looks really good. But when you cut into it, it's a bunch of bullshit on the inside. With their advertising to us, all comes at a cost. Everything has a price. And a closer examination of the agenda reveals a far more sinister plot. A great example that I wrote about is the Dutch farmers protesting the climate policies that the UN is trying to intact and how they are purposefully creating a food shortage. 
So in the Netherlands, the Dutch have a goal of cutting nitrogen oxide emissions by 50% to appease the 2030 agenda, which directly impacts farmers. This goal will require farmers to reduce their livestock by 30%, and one third of the farms in the country will be shut down and out of business by 2030 if the government proceeds. Not only is this messed up for the Dutch farmers, but this is messed up for the rest of the world because the Netherlands is literally one of the largest agricultural goods producers worldwide. And the contribution of Dutch farmers to the global supply chain is very important. Here's where we get to the sinister part, the same institution, the UN, that's telling us that we need to be climate friendly and eco friendly and intact all of these regulations is the same institution that's warning us of a global food shortage and crisis, all while their policies are helping accelerate that to happen. Let's think about this logically. The same institution that's telling us and forewarning us that there will be starvation and a food shortage is the same one pouring gasoline onto the fire. The Dutch government knows that what they're asking of the farmers will cause them to go instinct, cause global food shortages and a lot of mayhem. This is why I pulled this quote from them, which it says, the honest message is that not all farmers can continue their business and those who do will likely have to farm differently. I conclude my case.